hello YouTube welcome back to my video in this video I am going to show you how we can uh, validate a form using JavaScript so I will be uh, showing that in my PHP page I have uh, my simple PHP server set up in my PC if you don't know how to set up a simple PHP server in uh, your PC just go into my videos I have another video how you can uh, set up a PHP server using exam, ser exam server okay so I have just started my exam uh, server here you can see here so this is my HD docs folder in my ex exam server server so I am going to create a, an index page here index.php so you can uh, directly create as uh, go to new and just select a text document and name that as index and uh, change the extension to php okay that's all just uh, change it so let me open this index.php in my notepad place so where i can write my html uh, html course in this uh, in this page okay Yes, I have just finished the coding of uh, the form. So let's uh, try to open this in my local host. So my local host server has been started. So uh, it's an exam server as I uh, showed you before. So let me, if I'm just uh, typing my local host, it should start our form. Yes, we have just started. Okay. So uh, our name, email ID, mobile and address uh, fields has been uh, successfully added. <coughs> and uh, the sub and the submit button also okay now we have to add other functionality like uh, to uh, validate this uh, form or uh, validate each of the fields okay so if uh, the name field is not written you should uh, alert me the name is not written and email is not written you should alert me email is not written okay just like that so first what you have to do is first give a name for your form so it will be like form name equal to you can give any name and uh, you have to uh, give a tag like own submit you should call a function okay so that function is uh, written in javascript in the head section of uh, your page so let me write the script here script so you have to write a function here so it is uh, uh, script type is text or javascript or javascript okay so you have to write a function here so the function should be like function I have to give a name so i'm giving it as validate and uh, you can write the code inside this one okay okay so uh, in order to receive uh, every variable or every field from the form you have to put a uh, name for the form so this will be uh, the name of the variable which is submitted uh, from this form okay so the type is text and the name i am giving it as uh, name itself okay you can give that and uh, the email is also type of text and the name is email and the mobile number is type text again and uh, name is uh, mobile okay and address the name is equal to uh, i'm giving it as uh, address itself so once this form is submitted we can read each field by this name okay so by uh, the use of javascript you can read that uh, read that uh, uh, field by writing the code we have to first uh, create a code uh, variable we have to declare a variable variable name equal to it is written uh, read as a document dot uh, form forms there should be a brace there and a value okay so inside these uh, 
you have to uh, set the form name and uh, the variable name so I'm going to get the form name as uh, my form and uh, just copy this one from here and paste it here the first one should be the form name and uh, the second one we should be the name of uh, the variable okay yes that's all so we can uh, simply alert these like uh, alert name yes let's try this let's go back yeah we have to fill on submit value also like or on submit the function also then function name so it will be like uh, return function name and yes that's so yes uh, we can uh, try this now i believe oh this is alert name okay so what if uh, is going to happen is if you are uh, submitting a name from here this javascript should take that name and it will simply alert that okay let's try that so let's start go to our local host again and i'm just simply writing my name as j-i-n-u and then submitting submit the value as a-e-i a e i o u okay just submitting that one and if i'm just submitting it should alert me my name uh, that name which we have given so that alert is coming from this part okay now we have to validate this like we have to say to the user if uh, this is not enter please enter it so how can we do that we can simply uh, give a small uh, snippet here if uh, x is i mean uh, name is equal to blank okay name is equal to blank name equal to blank just alert please enter name so it will alert to the user please enter the name if uh, the enter e, uh, the name is not entered please enter the name that's all so and we have to return the false e to uh, return false because if uh, the uh, name is not entered this uh, form should not be submitted okay for that we should enter a return false uh, uh, a code snippet here okay that's all let's try uh, go back to our code refresh yeah one more thing you can see all our uh, all our fields are uh, there uh, shown in our, our url so to block this to uh, uh, submit our data uh, like more secure way so this is not a secure way if there is your username and password it will show here also okay so to uh, hide this one you have to add one more thing here so we have to add like method equal to post so if you add method equal to post this will be hidden uh, permanently like now i have just opened localhost again oops this should be a double equal to and uh, double quotes okay it's not single equal to single equal to it means uh, it's assigning so we are comparing it should be double equal to okay now let's try i'm just submitting so this is blank because uh, this is alerting uh, before our this code so this is submitting here so if you are just pressing ok again here it should say us please enter the name ok so this is the first validation uh, to uh, to block empty uh, empty field from the user ok so let me copy paste this one let me remove this alert from here and now I am copy pasting all these like name uh, the next one will be uh, next one is email please enter email and variable she is email and name is not email okay and next one is after email it should be a uh, mobile number so it's like mobile 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 okay four places and address the last one is address so copy it and you can give uh, the variable name as anything okay so yeah which is address 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 so we, we should declare this as a new variable variable email variable mobile variable address okay that's all now if i'm just refreshing completely from here and now i'm just submitting this one you can see please enter name okay now i'm just pre pressing uh, entering the name name one and just submitting you can see please enter email and i'm giving it as email one and submitting again please enter the mobile and uh, mobile i'm giving it as one and submitting again it will say please enter address okay yes if i'm just submitting this one this uh, 
form should be submitted yes that form is submitted but we have not given an action tag so action tag uh, submit this one this form to another page or another function so i'll show you that one also here now we have we want to validate the email and mobile id mode like email id should be in the format of email and mobile uh, number should be always in number or numeric okay so i'll show you that validation now so I have found out a JavaScript email validation function which we can uh, use directly by just copy pasting the code okay. So this is the rejects which we need to uh, try through our function. Let's try this big one. So a simple version is here so I am not going to take that. So this is only checking the presence of at the rate symbol. So I will take this one the bigger one itself. So let me take all these from here. Copy it and come back to our code and this is email section so once uh, this is empty so so it will uh, alert us like please enter the email so if we, if it is not empty we can simply write an else block here and write whatever we want okay so i'm just pasting that code here completely so our email uh, is the same yeah so this will check uh, whether the our email is in this format and if it is true it will return true if it is false it will return false okay now we have to alert the user if uh, the email id is uh, not in correct format with the alert message okay so as i told uh, this function will return true or false uh, depending on uh, the format of uh, the email so after validating it will return true or false okay so we can uh, uh, receive that boolean value into another variable like this okay so this variable i mean this variable x will have uh, the boolean value once this is done okay so if it is false we have to return false but uh, if it is true don't return uh, it as true because if it if you return true this form will be submitted without validating further things okay so just uh, put this x inside this uh, if so if it is true don't do anything and if it is false just return false with an alert message like this okay so just alert here alert email id uh, not in correct format okay email id not in correct format and just return a false here again okay that's all now we can uh, test this from localhost let me refresh the page from here so if I am submitting without anything, it will ask to enter the name. So I am just entering my name as abc1 and submit again to last for the email. So I am submitting email as a, a random string from submitting to alert me email id is not in correct format. Okay. So I am just giving uh, like this. If I am submitting now, it will ask for my mobile number and uh, I am just submitting a random value submitting uh, the end it is asking the, uh, to enter the address so i'm submitting address okay so submit will work now so we have not validate uh, the mobile number like we should uh, accept only numbers in there so we will do that and further i will create a, a receive page like a form validation page i mean form receive page so i'll, I'll show you how you can receive all these fields now to validate uh, the mobile number whether if it is an uh, integer value or not <laughs> we can write the code here in else okay so this will uh, check if uh, the mobile number is centered and the next thing it, we want to check whether if uh, the value entered is an integer number now there is an inbuilt function from javascript to check whether if uh, a a variable is a false uh, false integer okay which means if it's not integer it will uh, return true okay so i'll show you that we have to give an if else loop inside this one also okay uh, it will be like this now if it's a false integer we can return a false here okay so uh, the function is like this is n a n in a n and inside this we have to put the variable so i'm copying this mobile inside this one okay now it will check if it is an um a string value or an integer value so if it's a string value it will uh, return a true or if it is a false integer means string value okay so we can directly return false again here with a message like this okay 
so we can give a message like a uh, uh, mobile number not valid okay i guess uh, this will work let's try this from localhost again go to the localhost page refresh now give a uh, submit first it will ask for the name i'm giving the name as name 11 submit again it is asking for email so i'm giving a false email first it is like at the rate gmail if i'm submitting it will say email id not in current format so we have to give a dot com also here submit now it will ask the mobile number so i'm giving a false mobile number like this a string value if i'm submitting it will say mobile number not valid okay now you have to give a string value i mean a integer value submit again to ask for address so i'm giving the address as address one okay submit now it the form is submitted okay so hope you got this this is the basic form validation so i'll uh, create a new page uh, like to receive these values in another page so it will be pure uh, in pure php if you want you can uh, have it and let me write that and i'll explain how we can receive this in that page also okay okay i have just created a welcome.php page so i'll open that here so in that welcome.php i'm just uh, giving a heading like welcome and i'll i'll print that uh, name email id okay so i have not changed that name email id uh, mobile and uh, address from this form to that page okay we can further call uh, your, your mysql database or whatever the database and in uh, do whatever stuff you want can insert or update anything okay so i'm not showing here that so let's try this one so you have to uh you have to uh, give an action tag to this page okay so it will be like action this action is uh, giving to forward these uh, fields to that welcome.php okay so here it is welcome.php copy and give it uh, here that's all now i believe let's try this one go to the localhost page refresh completely and give a name email id so email id is not in correct format give an in correct format email id submit to last for mobile so give a random value which will say mobile number not valid so give a string uh, integer value submit till i ask address okay so i'm giving it as address one one okay submit now so it will submit to welcome.php you can see all these value has been received from that form to that welcome.php okay hope you got this I have explained uh, the complete form validation with the help of uh, php and javascript and i have shown you how you can receive that form values into another page okay so if uh, if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching